Hi everybody, it's Mama D. Welcome back to my channel, Mama D Reacts, and we're going to look at episode 8 from season 1 of Ozark. It's called Kaleidoscope. So, this story just keeps getting crazier and crazier, and I'm just waiting for the hammer to drop. Um, Marty keeps, you know, getting in more trouble. Um, he, you know, was going to build a church for the pastor, and the Chanel's told him, you know, you can't do that because he distributes our heroin. So he told the the pastor wouldn't take no for an answer. He told him we're not going to build there's some kind of code, and then he had to be honest with him and tell him there's no code problem. It's you're you're uh, distributing heroin in your Bibles on Sunday morning on the water, and you have to keep doing that, or, or they're going to kill you and my family. So um, stupidly, the pastor. Um, doesn't pay any attention to him and he goes and he talks to the Schnells and the Schnells rat on Marty and tell him that Marty's you know laundering money for the Mexican drug cartel so it's just crazy let's start this episode and see what happens on this one here we go Buddy Holly's a perfect example Buddy Holly the day he died he won a coin flip world, so he wouldn't have been on the plane. Well, no, it was actually Balanza won the, the coin toss. It was it was Buddy Holly that chartered the plane. Do you want to know why? Because he was tired of riding in shitty buses. Oh, he was tired of shitty underwear. Ah! So, Keith, uh, I'm just saying that any decision made, big or small, it has an impact around the world. It's difficult. Marty, I, I just don't need a theoretical analysis right now. I know. I'm just saying this is tough. I know. Marty, watch. Damn. What we're looking for is further development in the global market. Right now, we have the number one growth percentage in our industry throughout North America. Whoever we hire has the potential to benefit exponentially if they're in the know of proper risks. Oh, Mr. Del Rio, we're only really, really concerned with how much you benefit. With the sole focus being on your company's diversification. And and as you expand, we'll keep a cap on the number of new accounts we take on in contrast to these bigger firms who can easily swallow you up. Where here, you'll be numero uno. Oh, what is your name? Marty Bird. Marty Bird. Mr. Bird, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Yeah, okay. I uh, To be honest, you know, I, I, I can't really assess much until I look at the numbers. You know, the numbers go... <laughs> Very well. I'll be waiting. Yeah. Well, this could take a while. Oh, I have time. Ooh. Mm. My resume clearly tells you that I can do this job. And I understand that the future of campaigning is online. I'm on MySpace. I'm on Friendster. And there's a new network called Facebook, which <laughs> I think is going to be really influential. Wow. So I know how to reach young people. Clearly, you're qualified. So is everyone else. I'm not coming off recent campaigns. I'm sorry. You know your choices, right? Work with me. I watch Anthony grow up from a six by ten when you chow down on bean gruel with roach feces. Ooh. Listen, I had a thought. You know, Chicago fucking winters are brutal. I can't take it. It might be beneficial for both of us if I set up a shop somewhere warm, like where you're at, maybe down in the Cane. Louise? Yeah. Man who only talks business is a failure in all aspects of life. <laughs> huh? The best smack talk? No talk. <laughs> exactly. So how's work? I left that job. Why? I thought you loved it. You know, I had to reschedule one day last minute. They pitched the fit. This is the second time this month that you left the job. Oh, come on, please. My ankle didn't bother me. She seems a little off. Well, she just lost another job. Thanks for coming. I really appreciate it. Are you kidding me? Where else would I be? Come on. I did see a pretty hot candy striper on the third floor, so I'm gonna have to duck out and say hello. <laughs> for a few. All right. Have some action. Mm -hmm. He's so gross. Marty, you can't blame yourself for what happened. I know. Do you? Yeah. I'm serious. There's nothing you could do about it. Like my dad always said, everything happens for a reason. What would the reason be for some healthy five-year-old to get a brain tumor? Or why would a tsunami wipe out a village? 
tell those families everything happens for a reason. Hello? Honey? Guys, anybody home? Oh, Lord, what happened? Hey, guys. Hi. Where's Mommy? I don't know. Hi. I mean, kids are all alone in the yard. It's been five minutes. It's just, it's only five minutes. Okay, but that's five minutes. Huh? Oh, what do you want me to do, Marty? You want me to burst in tears in front of them, or you want me to come up here? I think I made the right choice. Oh, oh she's choice. depressed. Yeah, I paid dividends. I used to, anyway. Get out. I helped run our last mayoral campaign back home. Oh, really? Is it as corrupt there as it is in Chicago? <laughs> did find something. You did? Yeah, a couple things, actually. Um, you see here. Uh, this column right here, you know, first look at it, looks tip-top, right? But if you take a closer look, all of these accounts here, the decimal number is rounded up to an even number. In layman's terms, please. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that they're completely made up. You know, and correct me if I'm wrong, but, I'm, you know, I'm curious if, 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 uh, if these false accounts weren't planted as sort of a, a test for potential money managers. Ooh. And if that wasn't the case? Well, that would take me to the second point. I'm not quite sure how to say this, but it seems that someone could be skimming off of half of these accounts. Stealing from me? Mm-hmm. Would you like to work together? Yeah. I, think be I was asking Mr. Burr. Ah! Okay, okay. Not you, big mouth. Unfortunately, my client list is full. At least let me repay you for your thoughtful analysis. My pleasure. You sure? Mm, yeah. You know, we have partnerships with resorts all over the world. Perhaps you and yours would like to join us for a long weekend? Yeah. Or... Oh, well, it's a nice offer. It's just it's a, not a great time for me. Ha! Huh. Bruce is such a dick. Dude, are you, are you fucking crazy? I was like, finally, a winning lottery ticket on the heel of your shoe. We have no idea what his affiliations are. So like Marty, he tiles. He works in grout. His portfolio looked a bit more diverse than tile. Mm. You're the guy who makes everyone late to the party because you have to pick up your ear medication. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's a good one. Yeah. Oh my God, she's out of her mind. Oh, <laughs> dang. Ma? <laughs> Hello? Join me downstairs for a drink. This cognac is uh, $175 a drink. I Dang. have a feeling this is about more than golf. You know, Wendy talked to her about what happened. Hexy. Yeah. And we've been through something similar. It really shook us. Everything happens for a reason. <laughs> Bruce. I know you're reticent, but I need you to work for me. You will be able to earn enough to afford your great, great grandkids' tuition. Dang. The risks? Yes. Well, I understand, but you only really have to worry about the risks if you're careless or dumb. And you're neither. So whoever I choose can be a risk. Who's your boss? Mm -hmm. Who's your boss? Oh, <laughs> I was just saying that. You have a pretty good idea, I'm sure. Fifty investors. Either they didn't catch... Any discrepancy, or they were just too fucking scared to, to speak up. Ah, yeah. yeah. Well, you want somebody with integrity to do a job where they have to discard their ethics. Right. Are That's you talking it. about societal ethics, or are you wrong? Well, probably both. I would contend that this is a little bit more of a complex issue. What are your ethics? The one thing that trumps all the others. To protect and provide for my family. Exactly. You will be able to provide more than you can possibly dream. Wow. Because you are the best I've ever seen, Marty. Wow. How are you feeling, Ma? Much better. I'll be out of your hair in no time. Right here, okay, right here, okay, right here, okay. right here. She's walking okay again. That's weird. He looks kind of sketchy. <laughs> Tell my mom to come outside. I'll call when I leave. <laughs> what the oh, fuck? She's shooting Get down. the fuck out of here. Oh, oh my god. god. No. What? Wait. Just stop. Don't fucking touch me again so I'll be gone. I'll tell your bosses you assaulted me. Oh my god. You. 
She's an addict. Duh. I had a potential client come in a little while ago, and he has resorts all over, and he offered a trip. I looked through his portfolio. So why is this potential client not an actual client? Well, he says that he is in tile, and I don't know if he is. I don't, I don't know if it's, you know, Corleone with olive oil. Cool. We need a vacation. He asked me to look through his portfolio every once in a while. It's a big deal. Didn't you always want me to be more spontaneous? <laughs> so what is it you do for Dell exactly? Huh? What do you do for Dell? Don't we all do the same shit? Mm hmm? Put the money through the fucking washer? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, uh, Dell made me a very generous offer to work for him, and it's exactly what we thought it was. Tell him no. Marty? What'd you say? <laughs> I turned him down. I mean, well... No, I don't know. The offer's great. Well, I'm, I'm sure that it is, but this this isn't anything we can really consider, is it? Probably not, but um, nothing wrong with talking about it, right? Just talking. <laughs> this and never, ever having to worry about money again. Ever. That is so tempting. Man. Cons? Jail. Mm -hmm. Leaving your family, pissing off a cartel. Those things would never happen. We can't, we can't do this. <laughs> can we? Why can't we do it? You really going to do this? Mm -hmm. Are we going to do this? All decisions have consequences. Well, I'm good with it if you are. <gasps> Serious. Same here. And I guess we're really gonna do this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No fucking way. Well, I oh, think science would disagree. Right. You were in the room. You heard them say that the <laughs> chances of us conceiving again were practically nil. Would I be a terrible person if I said I didn't want to have his baby? No, sweetheart, you would never be a terrible person. No matter how small, uh, can potentially elicit a huge change around the world. Ah, fuck! I'm already watching. That's what happened. That's, she lost the baby. Oh. Uh, so, hey, um, we're in. This calls for a drink. Oh, and, uh, Louise, your services are no longer needed. What are you talking oh, about? Oh, Del, Del. Del. I didn't know I was taking his job. No, Luis wasn't going to be hanging around much anyway because he's a cheat. <gasps> he cheats on his wife, Ooh. and in business, even cheats in golf. And cheaters eventually get caught. Dale, I don't know what you're talking about. And it's become clear to me a very real possibility that you've been working with the feds. I swear on my fucking son's life, I didn't talk to anybody. Stop! Did. You see, the feds were snooping around, which caused you to make some piss-poor attempt to cover your tracks. And this allows me to dispense with you. Isn't that something? Huh? The wonderful convergence between cause and effect, a bit of good luck. Bad luck in your case, Luis. The universe is a funny, funny place with all this. Oh my God. Oh my God. They're killing him right in front of Marty and Oh my God. That's a warning to you. That's what's gonna happen to you if you, yep. Jesus Christ. Look at Dell. It's just a warning. This is gonna happen. What do you want me to do with him? They took his eyeballs out. Take them for a rainy day. When they when he sent him to Marty. What the hell? Sweet Jesus. You don't know how wonderful it is to have someone on board that I can trust. 
Damn. Oh, and he knows that. Oh. She don't know it. I guarantee you he didn't tell her. Wow. Yep. You did it now, Marty Bird. Wow, that was a good episode. I love the back episodes, catching up with what how things came to where they, how things got to where they were. So she had a miscarriage. So, wow. And that's how he got to work with Dell. So, and then when we get started in the series, we're at the point where Bruce gets caught doing what that guy was doing. All right, I can't wait to see how the next two episodes go. So let's get on with them and can't imagine what the finale is going to be like. So leave your comments below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please, please, please subscribe. It doesn't hurt. I don't come after you. I'm not going to mail you nothing. I'm not going to make robocalls to you. I just, like I said on the other two videos, 75% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribers. So my goal is to reach a thousand and then keep going. So, um, you know, my husband isn't working anymore. He's disabled with the kidney failure on dialysis. So I'm trying to do this as a second, you know, income opportunity, but you can't make any income until you're over a thousand subscribers and past that. So that's my goal right now to just get to a thousand and then start working on, you know, getting more. So if you can subscribe, I sure would appreciate it. And if you want to be notified when videos come out, you click that little bell. All right. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace out.